Hey Alessandro, I was hoping to bump into you. How are you on this fine day? I am so totally good today. What about you? Completely astounded. Wow, why is this? Well I don't mean to brag or anything, but I think I may have discovered something that will change life as we know it. I call it animal electricity. I don't think I completely understand what you are trying to put across. Are you saying that animals actually generate electricity? Well yeah. I was as surprised as you are. But I believe it. Let me into your thoughts Luigi. Okay so it happened last night. I was just cooking up my favorite vegetable soup, as you do, but this time I added my very special ingredient, of frog legs, and that is when it happened. What happened exactly? Well it has never happened before. But as I was cutting the legs, I couldn't find my best knife, so I thought using my scalpel would be a good alternative. As I was doing so, I accidentally hit the nerve and the leg contracted like it was in pain or something. I freaked out. Hmm. Tell me more. Well I thought that maybe because last night was full of lightning, it was one of those one-off things, so after I made my exquisite soup and was waiting for it to cool, I took it down to my lab, by this time there was no sign of lightning, the sky was clear and I was determined to prove what I found was true, I did this by using two different metals. I attached one metal to the dissected frog legs muscle and one attached to the spinal cord, and yeah, as expected, the frog leg contracted. So now what? Well this is where it all begins. I call it animal electricity and I define it as a form of electricity that is generated by animal tissues. Well I'm not going to lie, this is all intriguing but I'm not exactly sure if I believe it or not. I'm sorry, just as I expected, you didn't come up with it so you don't believe it. Thanks for all your support. Well great now he is angry at me. I have to show him that I respect his theories. I'll do this by gaining evidence which go against it. Thoughts a nice way to do it right? I have invited you over to apologize about last month. I didn't mean to be an unsupportive friend. I just have other views about animal electricity. It is okay, I have found it my heart to forgive you. Great. Thank you. Since we're okay now I'd like to show you what I have been working on. Since last month and hearing about animal electricity I have been doing my own investigations. What are friends for? Let's see them. To start my investigations, I hypothesized that when two different metals are brought into contact, one becomes positively charged and the other becomes negatively charged causing electricity and in your discovery a contraction of leg muscles. And how did you do this? Well, I tested my theory by using pairs of zinc and brass discs. I called it the voltaic pile. To increase the effect, I built up a pile of about 60 pairs of discs. I improved the contact between the metal discs by put discs of cardboard moistened with salt solution between them. Hmm. I see. Go on. After this, I joined conductors to the end discs of his pile. When I touched these conductors together sparks were produced and the pile would continue to produce sparks each time the conductors were touched. And Luigi my friend, there was no animal involved so this proves your theory of animal electricity was wrong. Again I'm sorry, all was out to get me I see. I should have known.